Hi everyone, I'm Henry Cavill and I play Geralt of Rivia in The Witcher. I'm here today to talk about some of my training and how it has differed over the years, especially from movies like Immortals and Superman up until now in The Witcher. I'm going to show you some of my movements with my trainer that apply to my weights regime. Every morning I started with fasted cardio and then I did a weight training regime which happened whenever I could fit the workout in with my schedule. And I'm going to show you some of those movements now. This is my trainer Dave Rienzi and he has guided me through a couple years now of various programs and for The Witcher in particular we had to focus on things which would support the level of stunt work that I was doing. Absolutely and really with all the stunt work he's doing the key foundation movement we're going to incorporate is the Romanian deadlift to strengthen the posterior chain. He's doing a four second negative with this mm -hmm. and then a two second pause at the bottom and then coming back up and contracting the glutes. And the whole key here is just maximizing time under tension so he's able to fatigue the muscles more but not overstress his nervous system and his adrenals. Yeah, which helps because uh, the days are long and it's important for me as an actor to go through all of this, whether it be in the morning or the evening, and still have the ability to come to set and perform as an actor to the highest level, to have the endurance to uh, do all the stunts without getting injured, and to have the neurological capacity to be a great partner to my showrunner. He's doing a four second negative with this, mm -hmm. and then a two second pause at the bottom, and then coming back up and contracting the glutes. What we do with this technique here is I have him utilize a, a hip circle above his knees. So basically with incorporating that, he's activating his glute medius and really keeping the glutes activated and fired the whole time. So the next exercise we're utilizing here is a hyperextension. We're actually doing this on a glute ham machine, which is gonna be more challenging than a traditional hyperextension machine. And what we're focusing on here is isolation, really contracting the glutes at the top, holding each repetition for two seconds, and really continuing the conversation and making sure the posterior chain is as strong as possible. When it comes to the posterior chain and uh, the kind of stunts I have to do, especially when it's uh, pirouettes with swords, anything which is based upon one leg movement where a knee can have a bad injury if you don't have that glute medialis engaged or that posterior chain, this stuff is what saves me. And the focus here is again on isolating the posterior chain, really activating the glutes in the lower back. He's performing the repetitions by pausing at the top for two seconds and really squeezing and engaging those glutes. And then his hands are behind his head, which actually makes the movement a little bit more challenging, engaging a little bit more of the erectors as well. Another key to Henry's training here is really focusing on core strength. So this movement we're doing here is an oblique static hold. And what he's doing here, he's extending his arms, he's holding in his core tight, and basically what this is allowing us to do is activate the transverse abdominals and the obliques at the same time. He's also keeping his glutes engaged. By extending his arms out and then inward, he's making the movement even more challenging. So typically what we'll do is he'll hold it out here for about 30 seconds, and then he'll go into extensions. And with this especially, this helps with one, endurance when I have to do a fight scene over and over and over again with a sword. If I'm using the real sword, real weighted sword, it's very heavy and requires lots of endurance to do the moves safely and perfectly each time. And it also allows for nice explosive movement, which is, which is very typical for the Witcher. For this role, Henry needed to do a lot of sword fighting. So with the sword fighting, the key for the training was to really focus on the shoulders, making sure the shoulders are strong, and then also that muscular endurance is there for the shoulders. This movement here is a variation of side laterals and front raises. So each repetition is actually three repetitions. He's starting out in a traditional side lateral for the first rep, then he's coming a little further forward for the next one, and then doing a traditional front raise for the next one. So this allows us to target the medial deltoid and the anterior deltoid in one movement. As Dave said, uh, this really helps with the sword fighting aspect. Uh, swords are typically very, very heavy. And when you're using them 
uh, all day long, over and over and over again, every day, um, it really does help to have that muscular endurance in the shoulders and the strength to be able to move in explosive movements and also control because when you're film fighting, you're not going through for kill strikes. You're pulling the blow at the last second, but you have to keep that speed up between the striking moment and the stopping moment to make it look realistic. And so the extra strength and endurance in the shoulders really helps with that. He's starting out in a traditional side lateral for the first rep, then he's coming a little further forward for the next one, and then doing a traditional front raise for the next one. So this exercise we're performing here is going to be a dumbbell curl alternating from a static hold. Yeah, for the sword work in particular, again, it's what this really helps with is my forearms. That, that constant time under pressure when you're holding a sword, the first few takes are fine. When you're into take 16 of the day and you're doing very complex movements with your wrist, your, your forearm does start to die and you then end up throwing swords across the room rather than making a swing. And so it does make a big difference to have that muscular endurance in the forearm especially. With horse riding also, this can make a difference uh, because if you have a particularly powerful horse, uh, whether it be a stallion or anything else, which is really, really going for it, to have that necessary heave back on the bit, um, it does help. It does help to have extra strength there. What's unique about this exercise is it allows us to keep the biceps under tension for a longer period of time. It allows us to get more activation out of the forearms and then also continue working on that muscular endurance that is so important for, for his role. All right, everyone. Well, that's it. And uh, what we've shown you today has been a selection of moves. That is not a workout in particular, but those are moves which we put into workouts depending on which muscle group or muscle groups we are working uh, for that particular day. The most important thing to remember is that you are you. Everyone has a different genetic makeup. Everyone is at a different stage of fitness or training or even has a different amount of calories going in. So you do you and just make sure each workout is the hardest that you can do it. Don't look at the person next to you, just work out whether you worked as hard as you could for that workout.